Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 1 of Adobe Animate CC 2017 training series. So today we're going to look at what Adobe Animate is and how um, um, the interface is placed out so that you can create animations easily. So talking about the basics, Adobe Animate CC is um, a very popular 2D animation um, software. So it uh, is loved by many 2D, 2D animators um, out there for its easy interface and uh, its affordability. So Adobe Animate uh, was previously known as Adobe Flash as well. And since the use of Flash was becoming less in the web, uh, the software became more popular for 2D animation. So it is still used today, but not in the web industry, but in the um, uh, 2D animation industry. So in this software, what you can actually do is you can create HTML5 canvas, you can create WebZeal um, animations as well. You can create the traditional action script 3.0 animation that is a flash animation. And you can create air uh, apps even for desktop, for Android and iOS. So yes, this can actually create applications for your mobile devices as well. It can be used to create animations and it can be used to create softwares. This is a great thing to have in a single piece of software. So this is uh, a different software than Adobe as Animate CC, which focuses on HTML5 animations uh, only. So this is much more um, detail oriented and it has many uh, more features than Adobe as Animate. So let's get started. For, so for our lesson, we're going to stick to Action Script 3.0, which is a traditional flash animation standard, and it is still used by many animators today. So I'm just going to use Action Script 3.0. All right, so once I click that, you can see that the canvas that I have here is where I do the main animation. And over here at the bottom, there's the timeline. So if you can see the timeline, it is much more different than uh, what you see in uh, After Effects or what you see in Premiere Pro. So this is like frame-based uh, timeline right here. So you can click on individual frames, add in frames over there, and then uh, create um, uh, frames over there. So this is, uh, so the timeline cursor is located over here. So if you want to expand the timeline, you have to go on to this little icon right here and go large. So you can, you can see that the timeline frames become large now and you can do tiny to make tiny enemy, uh, frames to show tiny frames like that and do normal to do normal frames. And over here on the right, there's the properties panel where you can see you can increase the canvas sizes like this, just by uh, pulling it out. You can change the stage color. So it is white. You can simply select the color right here, change the main background stage color just like that. You can increase the height as well. And then over here, you have the publish settings. So you have the target flash player um, uh, version that you want to select and so forth. So over here is the library where you create all the symbols that will get collected over here. So on the right side, there's the toolbar. So I can, let's say, for example, create a shape just like this, and then I can manipulate this. So we're going to go over this further in uh, future lessons, uh, just like that. So over here, um, uh, you can create uh, a lot of things. Okay, so, so there are a lot of options right here. And the good thing about um, uh, this uh, software is that it can you can actually click and drag and put the library in other locations that you want. You can put it in the, uh, make a different tab and so forth. So this is actually uh, what all Adobe softwares are meant to be like. So you, this is very, very customizable. You can click on it to expand the option and so forth. So you can con contract the options just like that and expand the option as well. So you can see that there are different uh, color selections palettes right here. There are swatches right here. There's the uh, align tool and everything else that is located right here. So as uh, other Adobe softwares, you can go to Windows and you can access all of them uh, from right uh, here as well. So this is how you can uh, create animations and this is how the interface of uh, Adobe Animate is like. So over here, you cannot actually uh, hold Alt and then zoom in and zoom out like uh, other uh, softwares, but instead you have to hold Control and then uh, use the middle mouse bu um, scroll button and scroll it to zoom in and zoom out. And since this is vector graphics, you do not lose quality. So this is actually uh, um, an illustrator version of After Effects. So if you want to create uh, vector animations, then you use uh, Adobe Animate instead of Adobe uh, After Effects. So you can also um, 
tools like fit to window and so forth to zoom in the level of animations right here so every, like i said everything is vector and to preview the animation just um well, go away to uh, let's say like go to a view and then in the preview mode you can so so full and then uh, just preview the animations right here all right so you can go to control and test movie uh, in animate or browser so just press test and a separate window will open right here and this is how you test the animation so you get a flash uh, uh, get a flash uh, test animation right here so you can adjust the quality to see how it uh, looks in low quality and adjust how it looks in high quality just like that so it's as easy as that so uh, we'll, we'll explore more about the software in further lessons so this has been the first lesson and an introductory part of adobe animate 2017 hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe